Well, Julie, that suspect is now deceased. The authorities say Alan Wilmer Sr., who died in 2017 at the age of 63, was responsible for killing 20-year-old David Nobling and 14-year-old Robin Edwards in an Isle of Wight wildlife refuge area in 1987. The pair found shot to death on the shoreline of Ragged Island. Edwards had been sexually assaulted. They say Wilmer also killed 29-year-old Teresa Lynn Howell in the city of Hampton in 1989. Her body was found at a construction site. She'd been strangled to death and had been sexually assaulted as well. Law enforcement says Wilmer had never had felonies on his record, so his DNA was only collected after his death. A deep review of the cases led to that discovery. And then that's when it was discovered that Wilmer had passed away and decided let's let's follow through on that and see if there's genetic material that we can. Uh, and he was, wasn't the only suspect that was submitted to the Department of Forensic Science. Uh, the Department of Forensic Science had actually identified a common suspect between the Hampton and the Isle of Wight County cases a couple of years ago. But because he was never in the system, he was never in the CODIS database, there was no hit. So we had a common suspect. He just had not been identified. Now, investigators say Wilmer made a living as a fisherman harvesting oysters and clams and had a tree service as well. His family issued a statement expressing shock, saying the revelations did not depict the man they knew. They say they mourn with the families of his victims and are cooperating with law enforcement. Police are asking anyone who fished with him or even just hung out with him to contact authorities to see if he could be linked to other killings as well. There were four separate double homicides along the so-called Colonial Parkway murders between 1986 and 1989. Cheryl?